Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for setting up multiple layers on a landscape. Um, to begin this tutorial, I'd like to start by creating our, our landscape. Let's uh, create a small landscape, that way we can have some workspace. Let's set, set our section size to 7x7 seven seven and the number of components. Um, we'll keep that at 8, that's okay. We'll create that. Okay, and now the next thing we need to do is create our materials. So let's head somewhere where we can create a new material. Let's right click there. Let's go to materials. Um, where is it? Here we go. Material. And we'll want to rename this something that we'll remember. So like, oh, uh, terrain mat. You can name it landscape mat, but for right now I'm going to name it terrain mat. Um, let's crack it open. Here's the material editor. If you haven't used this before, that's okay. I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Um, for now, we're going to right click and in our search box, we're going to type in landscape and you'll see a list of all the landscape nodes for the material editor. We're going to get a, la a layer blend out. Um, so let's open this layer blend. We're going to add some elements to it. We're going to add three elements actually to create our layers. And the first layer, we are going to name this rock. And it is going to be a height blend. And it's preview weight. That is the priority of which it's going to be viewed. We're going to leave that at zero. Let's uh, get, our, get our second layer now and we'll name that dirt and set that to a height blend. Let's put its preview weight at 0 0.5. We'll uh, open up our last one and we'll call it grass. And hopefully you kind of see what I'm getting at here. But uh, if not, that's okay too. Um, okay, so now we have this layer blend all set up. This is going to specify which layers have priority over to the others. Uh, that means that grass is going to be on top, rock is going to be on the bottom. You could set this up however you want. This is just the way that I chose to set it up. Um, so let's get one more uh, landscape node in here. We are going to need a landscape layer coordinate. And we'll just leave this right over here on the side for now. Let's minimize our material editor. Let's go into our textures inside of the content browser. We're going to grab three textures. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to need a rock texture. So let's get this T rock slate D. You can use whatever you want, but this is going to be the one that I use. Um, and then I'm going to use ground gravel for my dirt. And then I'm going to use this T ground grass D for my grass. Let's get these all set up. Okay, and then I'll open this back up so you guys can see. Okay, and this is what we're working with now. Um, let's plug in our landscape cords to the input on our texture samples that we have. And then we'll take our RGB and plug that into the layer rock, into the layers, and we'll take our alpha and plug that into the heights. So for each one of these, we're going to take our RGB and plug it into the layers, and our alphas and plug it into the height. Um, let's plug this into base color, and we should see what our object looks like here. And we notice that it's a, you know, nice little grassy ball. I mean. That would that would be okay for testing purposes, but we're going to make this look a little bit better. Let's take our landscape coordinates and our layer blend. Let's control click these so we have them grabbed together, and then we'll press control W to duplicate them. Drag this down here, we will close this again, and we need to grab our normal maps for each one of these. So here we have the grass. Throw that in there. Whoops. Okay, there's grass. Here we have the gravel, and then we need the rock. Which is right here. Okay, and we have our UV maps, we have our normal maps, whatever you'd like to call them. <clears throat> and we are going to plug these in just like we plugged in the colors before, hooking up our coordinates to the UVs or the uh, texture sample inputs, or and uh, sorry, and uh, plugging in the RGB to our layers and the alphas into our heights. All right, and we'll plug this right into our normal map. And you notice we have a little bit more, more texture, more rigidness of the object now, of the material. Um, we still have one problem, though. It's shiny. And unless we wanted to make the ground wet looking, I don't think we want this shininess for everything. So let's, uh, let's add in some constants for the roughness. And we could do the met uh, metallicness, too. I can show you what that does with it. Um, here we go. Plug this into metallic. Plug this into roughness. 
So for the metallic, we're not really going to change this, but it's kind of fun to see what it does. Let's put in a value of 2 here and see what kind of metallic grass looks like. And it almost looks like this sparkling metallic planet type thing. I don't know, maybe you can come up with some cool ideas of how you'd use something like that for like a, a space game or, you know, however, however you'd think it'd be cool. But for right now, we're not going to use that. We just want some normal looking grass. We'll leave that at zero. Go over here, roughness. We'll put this up to 0 0.7. Give ourselves some roughness on the grass. And this way, it takes off that shine. It looks a little bit more like grass. Okay, one last thing, the landscape coordinates. You notice we didn't do anything with these before. This is the scaling of how the um, the actual landscape is going to be layered. I usually set this up to something like 3. You don't have to if you don't like, like the way that it looks. It looks a little bit bigger, but it is also a little bit easier on um, compiling the shaders from what I've seen. But for right now, I'm going to apply this, save this. And we have our terrain mat that we are going to use for our new landscape. So over on the right side of your screen, um, there might be a tab called Scene Outliner. In here, you want to look for Landscape. Go down to the Landscape under Details, the Landscape property. Find our material in the Content Browser, Terrain Mat, and drag and drop it over to the Landscape material. Um, the sh shading is going to compile right now. I'll go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, now that our shaders have compiled for this material, um, we're going to need something to work with, just something that we can put some materials on and hopefully it looks good. So I'm just going to set my brush, si brush size up to something like 250, brush fall off to 0 0.5, and the tool strength to 0 0.4. Okay, I resized my brush to 350, and now I'm just going to bring up some hills, just a small hill, so we can see what the texture looks like on here. And before we get started, there's a few things that we need to do before this will work out for us. Inside of Paint, inside of your Landscape Editor, um, click on Paint, go down to the bottom to where it says Target Layers, and you'll see on the right side of these tabs where uh, we created our layers, rock, dirt, and grass. Um, you'll see create layer info. We're going to need to do this with each one of these, and we are going to have to set them to a weight blended layered normal. So let's click on that. We'll click on materials. We'll click OK, and we'll do this with each one of these. Weight blended layer, materials, OK. And there you have it. Um, we're ready to set this up. All right, and let's um, let's do a few things, modify our brush so that we can edit this properly. We'll set our brush size down to 150 and that should do the trick. We'll go to each one of our layers and we will click on it and then you can control click and then copy it onto the screen. For right now we're just going to add some dirt and I don't know if you can see it well. I'll zoom in so maybe you can. If you hold control click and click on the side um, sometimes you get these little errors that come up. Don't worry about it. It's just your shaders that are trying to compile with everything that's up. Once you add in other... other uh, materials to it, it should go back to normal. Let's see. You may not experience that issue. I've only been experiencing it since I've been... Um, trying to do this tutorial, but it has seemed to work okay for me in um, larger scale projects. Okay, um, maybe we can add some rock in there to see how that looks. All right, here's the rock that's going to go in. I'll just put some on top of this dirt. See, and there you go. It's as simple as that. You can add as many layers as you'd like. I'm sure there is at some point where it will start bogging down your, your project. But, you know, keep trying to figure that out. You know, try and figure out what you can work with, what you can't. 
Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you were able to figure out what you needed to about setting up materials for using on um, landscape editing. Um, feel free to uh, check out any more of the tutor tutorials I have up, and um, take care. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.